What a cute little rabbit I've caught in my viney tendrils. Having a good night so far? Cool, quiet, just a touch rainy. I can see why you've decided to stretch your legs a bit. Gotta say, it made it nice and easy to follow right behind you. It took a while before I was able to make my move. Before you were all alone. This fine patch of ground here. Pavement broken, being slowly torn apart by the elements. Short of a dirt road, this kind of area is the perfect spot for me to cast my spell. I'm a nature subclass. I don't know if you know what that means. I wasn't there when your master explained the basics of our little world to you. It means I'm pretty good at magic, but currently I'm only good at one subject. Like the kid who sucks at everything but math, only it's magic plants for me. Ah, <sighs> my poor parents wanted me to be a fire subclass. What a disappointment I turned out to be. You can call me Cinder, by the way. The willow would have been better, but what can you do? Ah, uh, but I don't mind how I turned out. I find you can dream up a lot more uses for plant life than an open flame. Those vines of mine have their tendrils on you pretty tight. You can keep struggling, kiddo, but I'm not ashamed to say I'm very good at my job. Don't worry. They're not hurting you. I'm not hurting you. I just want to talk. And once we're done talking, I'll let you go. See, my job is actually a lot like yours. I'm apprenticed to a main class master. In fact, I think you might have already met him the other night. Yes, in fact, come to think of it, I think that our masters might be feuding. I'm sure yours had to have mentioned something like that. Yeah, I guess that makes us rivals too. How exciting. Not that I'm the type to randomly go looking for fights with my rivals. No, see, I'm after something specific. A few nights ago, you helped your master steal something from mine. Do you remember? That neat and tidy brown package that you snatched from his office during the party? Do you know what was in it? No? Well, in any case, I don't know if you guessed it, but that wasn't yours to take, so he wants it back. Well, naturally, I would love to approach your master directly and make him tell me. But, uh, not only is he way stronger than me, I only know he isn't the one who's got it. You are. Or at least, I'm pretty sure that you know the location, if nothing else. Yes, you do. Want to know how I know? Well, I'm not the only apprentice that my master has. The other one is Melody. She's a real piece of work, but she's got a sense for tracking things down. She's a detection subclass. Now she's the one who's been tailing your master, sniffing around for our artifact, but she can't find it anywhere. In fact, she told me that she only smelled traces of it on you. Isn't that interesting? I've started thinking that your master might have simply kept it with you all along. It's difficult to believe that he'd entrust something so important to a kid so green. But I think that might be exactly why he did it. My master certainly didn't suspect you. My master certainly didn't suspect you. She said it was a waste of time. So, one green spell cast her to another. Where did you put it? Denying it, huh? Oh, good. I figured that would be your first response. Walk me through this, kiddo. You stole the artifact out of my boss's office, and then you just handed it off to your master, right? And then what do you think he did with it? How did he scrub all traces of it off himself before Melody came looking? And then... If he could do that, 
Why didn't he scrub it off you? You must have some idea. Sorry, but I don't intend to walk away empty-handed. So I don't know, or I don't remember, isn't going to be good enough for me. It's small, so I can think it's very possible that it's on your person. Care to tell me where? Want to at least give me a little hint? Well, suit yourself. Don't be scared. I'm just making sure that my babies keep you nice and snug while I do my job. What do you think I'm doing? I'm looking for it. Ow! Don't kick me! I can cover you in poison ivy! Sorry, a heck of a time to lose your shoes. It's so wet out here. Mm, not this one. Why don't you get some actual laces, kid? You know how to tie shoes, right? <laughs> Nothing. Figured walking on it would be uncomfortable anyway. Now let's move up. You know, for someone new to all of this magic stuff, you've sure been taking it all in stride. Or so I hear. You hardly even screamed when I caught you. Which, might I say, wouldn't have helped you. Neither of us wants to attract mundane human attention, or you'll have a lot worse than my master to deal with. Ooh. I'm not too worried about someone stepping into this alley of their own volition. But I would hate for our little talk to be interrupted by a bystander. But yeah, you've been very calm about this. That's good. The quicker you become acclimated to our world, the quicker you'll be able to develop your powers into something useful. What power do you even specialize in? Your master figured that out yet? Nah, don't worry. You'll figure it out in time. Trust me, I was like that. Took me years to get to this point. Hope it's not Decay, though. Decay subclasses are really nasty when they want to be. Especially to guys like me who make plants everywhere they go. These guys are like my babies. You wouldn't kill my babies, would you? My plants practically love you. They're hugging you right now. The way they're snaking over your body. They especially like this one area right here. It seems to be their favorite. Well, I never said that these babies of mine came from a Christian Minecraft server, now did I? Alright, let's check around your waist and go from there. Well, yes and no. I mean, you have a choice, but it doesn't mean much. Mm-hmm. Basically, when you're learning magic and you're figuring out your subclass, it's a matter of trying everything and going with what yields the best results. I know it sounds lazy to... Uh... To... Do it that way. But magic's dangerous stuff. Doing something you aren't... Yet... Uh aren't yet proficient in can mess you up if you're not really careful. <sighs> okay, what gives? You're squirming so much and you keep making these weird little noises. What's going on with you? Oh, wait. Am I... Am I tickling you? <laughs> Oh, well, we don't want that. I'm not even done looking yet. Want to tell me where you hid the artifact? If you tell me, I can stop right now. No? Okay. 
have it your way. I was checking right here around your waist, right? So you're ticklish right here. <laughs> what? What was that? I can't understand you. What if I check here instead? Right here around your tummy? Oh, that's worse, huh? Aww, it's almost like you're trying to say something to me, but I just can't quite make out the words. Tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> oh, you're so ridiculous, but oh, so cute. Okay, let's see. Why don't we keep going up the abdomen more? No, nothing there. Around these chesticles. Nah. What about under your arms, around the collar? How about your back, in the pockets? Hmm. No, no. What if I check between your thighs? Oh. Uh, you know, I'm starting to want to give up on the artifact and just keep you here and tickle you all day. It's so cute. It is so ticklish. Deagle, deagle, deagle. Well, little greenie, that's up to you. I would get done a lot faster if you would stop squirming. I know, I'm just saying. But I won't lie, I'm enjoying your cute little laughs. Well, shoot, nothing. Hmm? Sorry, did you actually say something that time? Oh yeah, come to think of it, you wouldn't know what the artifact is, even if you've already seen it. You can call it a key, I guess. Not your typical kind, of course. It doesn't unlock a door or anything. It starts up a... Hmm, I guess you could call it a machine. But that's a pretty mundane word for something ancient that converts souls into... You know what, that's an even longer story. Anyway... That's not something you need to worry about. Let our masters worry about that. The problem we have right now is that I can't find it. It's small, yeah, but it's not that small. I should be able to feel something. It is possible it's not physically on you. Maybe you just know the location? I was afraid of that, though. Because that makes my job a little bit harder, if that's the case. You haven't exactly been forthcoming, so far, through most of this exchange. Although I'm sure it could just tickle the location out of you. Hey now, I'm just doing my job. Same as you. You took something that wasn't yours in the first place. I wouldn't be standing here in the rain, having to get into your personal bubble, if you just left it alone. Or better yet, just come out and told me where you stowed it! Look, look, here's the thing. I'm not very nice when I need to get someone to talk. You can't be nice all the time with the kind of masters we have. And you? You've just gotten started in this life. True, you've got a good head on your shoulders. But I can still tell that you're not going to last very long if I was able to abduct you and drag the truth out of you. Not to mention that it would put your master and mine on even worse terms than they already are. That is, if they are the type to get upset about their apprentices. Are they? Hmm. I wonder. So then, how about we spare you some trauma, and you just tell me what I want to know? Sorry. Once again, I'm not leaving with just an I don't remember. That is not one of the dialogue options in this game of ours. You have to remember something. You are literally the last person who touched the package. And I don't think you want to know what kind of horrible greenery exists in this world. Let me assure you, it's a simple stretch of my will to make thorns pierce your flesh. And that will be the kindest torment that I give you. So talk. Really? That's not very far from here. 
Just about six blocks, I think. You could be lying, of course. Uh-huh. <laughs> Tell you what. How about I go check it out real quick? Give me about 15 minutes or so. If you're telling the truth and I find it, I come back here and let you go. Hmm? And if you're lying, I guess this night will have to get a bit uglier for you. But you're not lying to me, are you? <laughs> you know, you really are pretty cute in your own way. What did you say your name was again? Pleasure to meet you. I hope we can get along. Well then, thanks for having this talk with me. I'll see you in a bit, kiddo. Don't go anywhere. Oh, while I'm gone, my babies tell me they would love to explore your body some more. And who am I to deny them? You might find it to be a nice massage given how sensitive you are. Have fun, newbie. I'll be back. <laughs>